Are you ready for this? Man, I'm five miles into this morning. <laughs> I feel like you're just getting up, but I'm like, ready. I'm just getting up. We're starting the No Joke Challenge. I have a massive headache. I don't know why. Are you pranking me? Probably not. <laughs> In all seriousness, do you feel like crap? Yes, I really don't feel good, but that's, I don't know why. I think we had wings yesterday. I didn't have a whole lot of water yesterday. I don't know. But we're going to do some electrolytes, and we're going to get started with our month, get started with our day, and get started with the No Joe Challenge. You know what's interesting? Every day in the morning, our house is super quiet. The boys are sleeping. The cats are who knows where. The dog is the only one who gets up at like 5.30 and is like, ah, oh, mommy's up, it's time for you to feed me. Let's hang out. But on the day that we have to get up in the morning and start exercising and vlogging, everybody's up at 7 a.m. Everybody's up, they wanna cook something, the cats are like right here. Like we actually had to move where they were sitting because it was like butthole in the camera. And they were like, no, this is my morning. <laughs> What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. And we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be able to Can we to add it. any more noise to this video? Seriously. It's hilarious. It's garbage day, though. It's April. Yeah, usually we're like waking them up early in the morning. Now, now <laughs> Caleb is like going in and out of the Okay, house. that's enough. Okay, so yes, we usually have to wake them up like hey it's garbage day but no today they decided to get up yeah way. because it's april 1st and all joking aside take a good look at the way i look right now happily because because i'm planning on looking different in a better way by the end of this month oh thank you for clarifying in a better way in a better way <laughs> like i don't want you to look too different. i plan on totally <laughs> crapping out this month and like really doing terrible no <laughs> So it's April 1st, we're starting our No Joke Challenge. So today we're gonna vlog. So we have a lot of things going on. First of all, I have got to go to work. We've gotta cut the church because this weekend is Easter and it means I have to do hedges. Got to make the church look nice for make the Easter. Church look nice for Easter. Um, I have a very big lacrosse game tonight. Like it's a huge game. It's like two really good teams, so I'm excited about that. What time is your game? Oh, uh, my game is at five o'clock. So hopefully I'll be home by the live stream. Yeah, we have an, a live stream at 8.30, son. I know, but the game's only around the corner. It's a Calvary. so He loves to Dukes of Hazard it into the parking space of a live stream. Like, let's flip into it. I will try to make sure everything is set up. I couldn't say no to this game. I'm going to go take a quick shower. We have to put on our CGMs today. Yes. We're going to put on our CGMs later on. There's a link for them down below if you're interested. And you can use the code 2 Ketos. That's going to get you $30 off I, to get the CGM. I think that I am going to go do my workout first while it is still cooler because South Florida gets really hot and I don't do well when I'm hot and exercising. So I want to get it started. Yeah. Plus you're going to have to limit a little bit with the CGM with your baths and stuff like that. So, um, no joke, <laughs> no joke. Are you pranking me? No. Fooling me? No. In all seriousness? Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to go take a shower and then I'm going to go cut grass because I'm weird and I need to take a shower to get dirty. Mm -hmm. So, and then we'll come back and we'll do our whole, our whole day. Okay. So I am in the garage and I'm about to start my workout and I don't know if anybody else starts a workout like this except for me, but... Yeah, I'm starting my um, shaker box air conditioner because 
Mama doesn't do working out hot. That is why I do my bike rides and my walks at five o'clock in the morning because it is the coolest possible part of the day. And yeah, if we're gonna do this exercising with the dryer and the washer going, I'm gonna need an air conditioner set to at least 70, maybe lower to get this thing done. Our setup is super simple, basically just a secondhand mat on the ground that we got from John Paul, our son, who's way into CrossFit. Thank you, John Paul. Um, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that maybe we can upgrade this mat at some point because it looks pretty rough, but this is basically what we're gonna do. Just set it up here in the garage and get started. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna cry. Okay, so there is the seat in our workout area all dusty because we've got to like clean it up. There's the seat that goes with Joe's ride on scooter that he used to have to ride everywhere. And now it's all dusty and unused because we are going to be using a workout mat instead. How exciting is that? We have increased our mobility. I have got to clean this mat off before we get started though. It's too gross. It's got too much grossness on it. Okay, so we are gonna get this full body warm up started with something called hollow rocks. So let's get to it. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine. But I get up, I always do. I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump Oh, what a fool But if I fall, I will get up again So next up, we've got side lane clams Bronson had me at glute activation I'd like to activate my glutes, please So yeah, I'm all about the side lane clam okay so believe it or not that was just the warm-up now we get to the actual workout and it begins with air squats and i'm a little bit afraid that I will not go all the way down and really get all of the, um, the goodie out of this exercise. So I'm actually going to take Bronson's advice and not use a box because I don't have one of those workout boxes, but I'm going to use our step ladder to help me know when I can sit down and like get all the way down and really get the most out of the air squats. So I'm going to head to the park to do my pull-ups and I think I'm gonna bring Caleb along to video me. So it is really hot out here. It's like 95 degrees today and it's been really hot here in Florida, but we haven't had any rain down here. And because of that, the grass like hasn't been growing because the grass that they have here at the church, it like doesn't grow when it's not getting rain. So it just kind of like goes dormant. So it's been interesting because once it does get rain, it grows like a couple of inches a day. So it gets really bad. So we don't really have to cut the grass, but this weekend is Easter and the hedges need to be cut. So we're gonna cut the hedges. And I started doing it figuring, oh, we just need to top them. They didn't grow that much. And as I started doing it, they're growing a lot. So now I have to go tell Anthony that we're doing all of the hedges because he was expecting we're only gonna do a little bit. Anthony is always whistling. Hmm? You're always whistling. I can hear you like whistling as you're riding down on the mower. I have some bad news for you. What? 
I know that we got here and uh, the church is really dry so we don't have to cut all of the grass. And we said we were just going to top the hedges. Yeah, I see that. You cut half the hedge. Um, I think all the hedges need to be done. Like, I really think we're going to need to do the hedges. What do you think? As I was doing it... <laughs> As I was doing it, I was just looking at like, it just doesn't look right if we just top them because they're, they've they grown a lot more than we thought they did. Okay, son, do you have our workout bucket? Yep. Are you embarrassed carrying a bucket to the park with your mom? No, not everyone is as tall as to, to reach all the pull-up bars, but I'm happy you're getting healthy though and doing exercises. Thank you. So I'm supposed to be working out, but I feel like this is a good workout. Just throw in a bunch of mulch. So it's very hot and I am very dirty. So one of the problems when you're cutting this place and there hasn't been a lot of rain is everything is really dry. It's like cutting hay. And so it's a giant dust bowl. So you can see like, I am filthy. Rachel's probably gonna make me get like undressed in the garage and just hide everybody and run through the house. If I walk through the house like this, she's gonna kill me. Anyway, it is uh, 2.30, we're almost done. This is a long day for us cutting the church, but my game got canceled. Uh, so we were able to get a little bit of extra stuff done. But here's the cool part. We cut these like tall grasses that I can't stand. And you can already see like we cut them like three hours ago and there's already pieces like jumping up. But it resulted in all of this grass. And uh, I was gonna go to um, the store tomorrow and get a bunch of hay and stuff for the chickens and I think we're gonna bring this home I'm gonna dump it in front of the house and then have the kids like take it and throw it around the backyard It'll make really good hay for like the chickens for nesting and stuff. I mean, it's basically just a bunch of straw. It's three o'clock I'm tired now I gotta go home Wait till Rachel finds out we still can't eat because I still need to work out and I don't want to work out on a full stomach. So maybe a little while. It'll be interesting because I haven't eaten yet today. So I'm gonna have to try to get all of that protein in just like one or two meals at the end of the day. <laughs> I am exhausted. I know you wanna eat, but I gotta work out first. Okay, so I'm in the messy garage. I figure I'm already dirty, so why bother taking a shower? I'm gonna get my workout in. I mean, I did a bunch of stuff at work, like just, you know, farm labor, throwing mulch and stuff like that, but we're gonna do the actual workout right now. While I'm doing that, I threw some chicken breasts into the air fryer, so by the time I'm done, that'll be done, and then we can get started on our steak for the night. Those workouts are no joke. 
I cannot feel my arms and I do not have the energy to take a shower. Fortunately, I'm Can not. I have a hug? No, I'm not as gross as you are, but I do need a shower because I stink. So, I don't. It's not the sink, it's the dirt from cutting. I mean, look at my. I'm just covered in dust from cutting the church and, and the hedges sweat. and sweat. So, it's only day one. Yeah. So, here's my thing though is. We've got that old gym mat that we got from John Paul. Yeah. It just slides around too much. It's kind of like worthless. So I think tomorrow I've got like three places to cut. I'll be done by noon. Let's go up to Tractor Supply. Since we're not really doing like the shipping anymore. And what? Oh. I was just sort of dealing with that thought process when I was working out. Because I was like, yeah, it's kind of gross. I tried to clean it. And it's still gross. So let's go to Tractor Supply and they have those rubber mats. A lot of people use them in their gyms. Okay. Let's do like half of the garage. So there's nothing to do it like where all the landscape stuff and the mower goes. But like the area where we're working out and maybe even like coming in from the house, like where I stand for my printer, it'll not be concrete. It'll clean it up a little bit. And they're not super expensive. You can get them like right there at Tractor Supply. What was it like working out? I don't know if you noticed it. The camera's shaking. <laughs> Very close to uh, where your ride-on vehicle was. It's really interesting. I got to sell that thing because I don't need it anymore. But we haven't used it in three years. So the battery's shot. So in order to sell it, I got to buy batteries, which is kind of weird because nobody will buy it because it runs... But the batteries haven't been charged in three years, so I'm gonna spend like 70 bucks to buy batteries to hopefully get like 300 bucks for the machine. But what I mean is, this working out thing, it is tough, it is hard. Like, I, you know, I, I was done for the day when I was done with my workout, but is it worth it to have the mobility? Yeah, it really is. And it's funny, so today, and I need to go take a shower, but I was cutting the hedges and Pastor came out and he was like, Joe, you were walking so much better. He was like, you're, cause if you know me for any length of time, I walk on like my toes on my left side because I don't have a big range of motion on my left side. That's why you'll see when I'm doing like the squats, I've got something propped underneath, you know, my left foot because I can't bend that, you know, heel all the way down. And he's like, wow, like what is the difference? I'm like, the arthritis is like gone. Like I've got a little bit more range of motion. Um, I don't have all the inflammation, so it doesn't hurt as much. It's amazing what you can do when you're not in pain. Right. So I'm gonna go take a shower. We're gonna eat. I got some chicken breast that I just cooked. We didn't eat. We gotta do the chuck eye steak. Yeah, but I want the chicken breast. And we're gonna like do a whole right bunch now. of eggs. Well, you're gonna have to wait for me to take a shower. Are you ready? I'm you smell tired. much better. You smell good no matter what you do. Like, you're, you're so sweet. You literally smell like you just took a shower. Caleb was like, mm. I'm absolutely serious. Okay, it's dinner time, sort of. It's like, what, 5.30? This is our first meal. How is it 5.30 already? It's 5.30, it's first meal. So here's what we have. So I have 13 ounces of cooked boneless, skinless chicken breast. And I have one of these Sam's Club jalapeno and cheddar sausages, which really are good. amazing. Rachel has 10 ounces of cooked chicken breast. And I'm going to pull up chronometer. Because people are like, how do I get all my protein in? Frank's Red Hot. Frank's Red Make sure if you buy the Frank's, you buy this stuff. The Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Don't buy the Buffalo. The Buffalo has bad oil in it. You right. buy this and then you can mix you it can with butter. You can add butter. So my meal right here is 128 grams of protein with only 29 grams of fat right here. So that's how you can get a lot in. And now I still have room. We're still gonna have chuck eye steak. That's cooking right now. Yum. And again, you can go over your protein. My protein goal is about 200. Rachel's is what, 150? But again, you can go over a little bit. So we'll have the chuck eye steak, which is probably gonna put us over in protein, but not much over in fat, like not even close to the fat, because I'm only at 30 grams of fat right now. Rachel's at like 25 grams of fat. My nemesis. This is so my sad. nemesis. So I go to Sam's Club. Usually I go to Sam's Club once a week. And I go in there for just a few things and, you know, I'll buy a couple things for the kids. But I pretty much go in there for ground beef mm -hmm. and chicken breast. They, they sell ground beef, 90-10 ground beef, $2.39 a pound and a big five pound thing. So we buy pretty two cheap. of them usually. And then their chicken breast is like $1.68 a pound for boneless, skinless chicken breast. And it's Purdue. 
So, and it's hormone free, so I'm good with that. So that's what I buy. And then if I go with Anthony, Anthony always wants lunch meat. So I get pepperoni for us, because we love pepperoni or salami. And then I usually get a pack of this cheese. But here's what happens. Every time I go to the outside refrigerator, notice this pack is never closed. It's never closed. <laughs> so what I do, and that's why you can see, like, it's even hard on the edge a little bit, which it doesn't bother me when it gets like that. So every time I go to the refrigerator, I eat a piece. So at the end of the day, I probably will eat six or seven of these. So this, it's going in the garbage for this challenge. Really? Yeah, because I can't be trusted with it. Like, I can't be trusted with it, and the kids don't want it. So I'm drinking some Redmond Relight because... Uh, Me too. Yeah, out in the sun all day. I need to refresh my electrolytes. But, uh, so I've got the uh, pina colada in here. I love the pina colada. I don't know which one I like better, pina colada or, water or the watermelon lime, but they're both really good. Lemon lime. You like lemon lime. Mm -hmm. What are you drinking? I'm drinking some of the pineapple orange relight, the, the new immunity one. So this stuff's not available yet. I'm going to put a link down below if you want to read about it. Mm -hmm. They sent it to us and said, hey, can you try it for like 10 days? It's really and good. And then let us know what you think. I'm really enjoying it. And again, they're different flavors. So this one's blackberry. This one's pineapple and orange. pineapple orange. I like this one, but you guys know I'm not a huge berry fan. not a fan. berry person. So speaking of Redmond, so this yes. video again is not sponsored by Redmond, but I did contact her today to tell her that we're enjoying this. And I said, hey, we're kicking off our new challenge. And you said you would do like some giveaways at the end of the month for us. Mm -hmm. But I asked her, could we do some giveaways today on this vlog to kick off the challenge? Yeah. yeah. And so she said, sure, whatever you want to give away. So here's what we're going to give away. Okay. We're going to give away and not just one, not two people, but three winners. Three winners? Three winners. Okay. okay. So here, what do you have to do? You have to like this video. You have to be subscribed to our channel. Right. You have to leave a comment. You have to leave a comment down below. If you don't want to win it, just, and you want to leave another comment, like Joe, like you look really bad doing those exercises. No, you don't. And like, you look victorious. I'm trying to like make sure that nothing's falling out as I'm doing like the clamshells and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Yeah, we don't want Peekaboo. Wanna, yeah, so um, yeah, if you want to leave a comment and you don't want to win, just put like, I don't want to win. You need to live in the United you States. You need to live in the United States, okay? Yeah. So you need to live in the United States. And so. What we're going to give away is your choice of Relight, because we love the Relight. We absolutely love it, and you're working out right now yeah. in April. So you need your electrolytes. You need your electrolytes. So what you're going to get is your choice of flavor. So your choice is pina colada, watermelon lime. It is unflavored. lemon lime, unflavored, the berry. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm missing one. No, you got them. Pina colada, berry, watermelon lime, unflavored, and lemon lime. Okay. So you're going to get your choice of what flavor and your choice of do you want it in the tub or do you want it in the individual sticks? So you, well, that's really nice because the individual sticks are, are really convenient, but I think there's only like 36 in a bag. There's 30. So you get okay. less. 50 servings in this guy. Right. But the convenience is, is the convenience thing. is awesome. Now, yeah. the, if you want to go buy them, we have a link down below. It's two crazy ketos that gets you fifteen percent off, and Redmond does support our channel, so we appreciate you guys Thanks, supporting Redmond. Redmond. If you want, you can buy stuff in a local store. I don't think you can buy this in a local store, but if you're going to place an order from, please use our link. It, it yeah. lets them know that you're supporting us and that they you want them to continue to support us. But I was just thinking, they do sell salts like in Publix. Yep. And and Whole Foods. People are going to need the salt too. Yeah. So you get your choice. I like the tub for home. The bag. But we only use the sticks when we leave the house. Right? right. Rachel likes to use them as like pixie sticks. I do. Okay. But in addition to that, since we do need salt. We need salt. And when we you know, like go out, sometimes we go to restaurants like Texas Roadhouse and you don't want to use that disgusting salt that they have there. I, I keep the little shaker. So we're going to do every per each winner, a tub or a bag. And a box of salt shakers. These are awesome. So if you know, people them. ask us all the time, what are these? So these are, where do we get them? They're like a little mini portable salt shaker. By the way, do you know this, how much yes. salt you're supposed to have in a day? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that we eat way more than this, but yeah. but yeah, that's how much. So you get six of these and you can put it in your purse, your briefcase, put one in your pocket, put one in each car. And then when it gets low, just fill it up. We never go anywhere without these things. And if we do, we're yelling at each other like, hey, yeah. where's the salt? Why did you leave it? So that's what we're going to do. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna let this run a little bit. So I'm not quite sure what day that we're going to air this vlog. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick the winner on Keto on the Couch. 
and I'm going to put the date down here along the bottom because I don't know, you know, which like, one, which, which keto on the couch yet. Cause it depends on how fast I can edit this video and everything. What do you think? I think I'm ready to eat. You're ready to eat? I think I'm already in the midst of eating. So we're going to eat. We'll come back when the Chuck Eye steak is ready. And then we have our live stream for tonight. Mm. What's wrong? These eggs are still runny. Because it's a gravy for your steak. Mm. This steak looks really good. Okay. I have a question for everybody. Yes. Does anybody else out there have a Berkey? Yeah. Do you have a Berkey water filter? I love our Berkey. Because the Berkey water filters are absolutely awesome. But there is a small downside to them. At least a downside for me that usually affects me and Anthony the most. And that is you have to refill a Berkey. Yes, you do. And somehow I'm always the one stuck with like the last. there's no water left in the Berkey. <laughs> Because there's a lot of people that want to drink out of the Berkey. The boys love it. But they don't want to fill the Berkey. The boys are really snobby about their water intake now. Yeah, look at that. It turned it all yellow. It's really good. Okay, so here's what we've got. I'm going to pull up chronometer. Because again, people are like, how are you getting your protein in? Because this is going to shock people. So this is... I've never cooked this before. I know. And I'm excited to try it. Usually, I mean, this is usually, this, they call, call it like the poor man's ribeye. Poor man's ribeye. Um, but it, it's a little bit tougher. Not much tougher, but a little bit tougher. But new, do it right. I kind of, I, I made it more like a pot roast mm -hmm. uh, because usually I would salt it for a couple of hours and then like sear it. We just ran out of day. And I didn't have, I mean, again, didn't get home till, you know, like 530. So I put in the pressure cooker. For about 25 minutes. It's so good. And that should get it super tender. And then I put it in the air fryer for five minutes at 400 degrees to get like a crisp on, on the, the outside. outside. But what I did was. That is good. I put seasoning on the outside. And people keep messaging. It's like, how are you guys like doing Cajun? Like, what do you do for blacken? 90% of the food that we cook, I have four seasonings that I'm going to use. <laughs> it's pretty boring sounding. As, unless you're using like our homemade chili powder, like our our, the, our chili seasoning or our taco seasoning, which there's links down below for our website where we have our own because usually they have like sugars and stuff added yeah. to them. Here's what almost everything we eat on a daily basis season with. For example, the steak covered in this... Again, not sponsored, but just we use this every day. Right. Uh, the organic garlic pepper from Redmond because it's got the Redmond salt, it's got garlic, and it's got pepper. So it's like a one and done. The chicken breast, the lemon pepper. So we take that chicken breast, we cover it all the way around, and then, and then <laughs> stick it in the air fryer 380 degrees for 20 minutes. Right. What happens is, is this salt just like gets all of the juices to stay inside. So like chicken breast is normally very dry. Not if you cover it with this and then put it in that air fryer. It like sears it in. So the juices are really juicy. And then of course this seasoned salt. And then for Cajun, like we want something blackened. And we, a lot of times we'll do that and then dust it with this stuff. It's this, spicy. This Tony, what is it? Karachi's Creo seasoning. Because the ingredients in this are really good. Salt, red pepper, black pepper, chili powder, which is uh, chili pepper, spices, salt, and garlic powder, and then garlic and then silicon dioxide to stop it from caking. But there's no sugar in here, so we go through a lot of the... This is it. These are all... The... And then salt and pepper. Red and salt, of course. But this is all the seasonings we use. And it's rare that we're using anything other than this. So, um... You gotta try this. I put your fork and knife over there. Okay. Because I want to well, see I'm your talking. reaction. Yeah, because I'm not a steak eater. Oh, wow. That is tender. That is really good. Mm -hmm. And how much was it for all of this? Um, I, well, our meat was special. It was really special. How special was it? It was like 30% off because you had to cook it or freeze like it by today. Uh-huh. And so it was $4.50 for like a two-pound roast. A two pound a chuck eye steak. That is insane. I mean, it was thick. I mean, it was like this thick. So I would just look for that kind of meat. Yeah. So, okay. This dinner here, um, 10 ounces a piece of cooked chuck eye. Mm hmm. Okay. And then two eggs from the backyard chickens. Thanks, girls. Um, so the chuck eye is 752 calories. It is 76 grams of protein. 
47 grams of fat. So for the day, and you've seen everything we've we, eaten this is all within an day. hour. So far, here's what I'm at. Rachel's at a little bit less, but I have my chronometer up. Uh, 216 grams of protein, three total carbohydrates, and the carbs came from that sausage. Totally worth it. Right. And then 86.7 grams of fat. So I'm up a little bit higher on my protein than my goal. My goal, my, But it my, doesn't my, matter. My cap is 200, or my, right. my goal is 200. I want to get at least 200, but I'm fine to go over... My fat's only at 86 out of 150. We're not counting calories, but what calories are we at? That's the thing is people are like, you're going to eat, you're going to end up eating less calories if you're eating higher protein, but eat more food. All of this food combined, which seems like a lot of food, right? 1600 calories. That is insane. 10 ounce steak, right? That's delicious. Two eggs, 13 ounces of chicken breast. And a delicious sausage. I will say that the egg does create a gravy. Uh, you were right. It, it's oh, good. It pains me to say it. It does, right? I know. I know. But I'm, I'm right a lot of times, especially when it comes to the kitchen. <laughs> You're right in so many more areas, though. You are so much the, better than me in 90% of this stuff. It softens the blow when it tastes really good. Yeah. And we got a deal because we spaved so much money on dinner. Are you ready to live stream? I am. Do you have some silliness to happen? Me? Never. <laughs> no shenanigans. You look so cute. I love you in the little pigtails. <sighs> it's called I had no time for my hair because I languished in the shower. You know, like after your workout, like I work out. I you worked out. I worked out. Like you I'm worked out. I'm one of those people that work out. But like after workout, that shower feels so stinking good. Like you just want to stay in the shower. But it's like get your act together, Rachel. That was a long live stream. It was awesome though. I thought I don't have any more energy left for today. And then when I get around everybody and we get to talking. It was an hour and a half. Then I mean, I could go another two hours. Like you guys give me so much energy and just, I don't know. There's so much love. People have asked us to do a 24 hour live stream. I think we could do it. I really we do. We have to do it for a charity, though. But the, and so that's the thing. It's like, what charity? There's so many good ones Maybe out there. Maybe we should start with like a 10-hour live stream. I don't know if I can do 24 hours, but I would anybody interested in joining us for a 10-hour live stream and encouraging people? And we do it for charity, like we raise money for charity. That would be I kind of it. a cool thing. We have to come up with a charity, though. It's got to be charity? some kind of charity based on like where you benefit from keto, obviously. Yeah. Right? So we have to come up with something like that. Like That'd be really Alzheimer's cool. Alzheimer's or. Yeah, that would be really good. Diabetes, you know, awareness, something like that. But yeah, it was an hour and a half, but it's kind of weird because I was so tired going into it. And now I'm like full of energy because I do get energized by our live stream. One of the things that we talked about was like going to bed. Yeah. Like you need to go to bed. I do need to go to bed. So like, do you think you're going to be able to go to bed tonight? I don't know. Between the sun and the workout and everything else, I, I think I think I'm going to get a good night's sleep. I'm going to go get some smart sleep. I was going to say, I'm give doing myself smart a bunch sleep. of magnesium and and conk myself out. Conk it now, out. if you're new to our channel, every Thursday we live stream 8:30 p.m. right here on Two Crazy Ketos. We try to not mess with that time, so that you can know that every Thursday we're going to be there. So we usually schedule like our entire life around that live stream. Yeah. Even like we go on vacation, like we are going to visit my mom in a couple of weeks. We'll bring our hotspot and, and attempt to live stream from the mountains in New us. York. Yeah. And also on Mondays, our Keto on the Couch, we do the premiere. So Keto on the Couch is not live, do, 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 do. but we are live in the chat for the hour that it's premiering at 10 a.m. It should be like click, 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 click. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. I feel like it's doot, 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 but it's not. Yeah. That's not what a keyboard sounds like, I don't think. I'm so excited about this. You need to start working on the key lime pie recipe. Key lime pie. That's right. your. I'm so excited. This is a new flavor that's coming out. That's your out. job. Right now, it's only available if you've got like the April box for the Chow Club. By the way, you really want to get the May Chow. I'm telling you, you want to get the May box. So anyway, we've got this stuff. We've got these these Nutra Senses. How long is this going to be on for? Two weeks. I can shower, right? You can shower. I'm not going to be like all gross and crusty like I've had a cast on my arm and it's no, getting all like no, flaky and gross really. underneath. So if you don't know what this is, this is a CGM, a continuous glucose monitor. And what it's going to do is it's going to measure your glucose and you use your phone so you don't have to have any kind of reader or anything like that. And we're going to wear it for the next two weeks and see 
what's going on with our glucose? Is it elevated? Is it not elevated? What is elevating it? Now, neither one of us eat any kind of carbs or anything like that. Like we don't I mean, eat, we have, we have some carbs, but we're not like, we're never over 20 carbs. We're never carb cycling. And we're never carb cycling and we're not eating sweet potatoes and we're not eating rice. We're not eating wheat products. So our glucose should never really spike unless, dun, dun, and that's dun. one of the things we're, we're you're going to learn about. You are stressed or not getting enough sleep or you're running away from a lion. <laughs> I hope I have no lions that I'm running from in well, the next Well, we're two in weeks. South Florida, so you could be running away from an iguana. Well, I, or a crocodile. Or a coyote. Or an alligator. We do have uh, coyotes in our neighborhood. A so. chicken actually crossed the road while Caleb and I were coming back from our workout. We have a lady around the corner that's got like 100 bunnies. So you could be running away. But the point is, is that stress, good or bad, or excitement or exercise can raise your glucose level. And we're gonna find out what our glucose level does with all these different things. Because the moment it happens, you're gonna be able to see like, where was I at 10 a.m. when this thing spiked? So here's the cool thing about the NutriSense. So this is basically a freestyle Libre. You generally, you do need to get a doctor's prescription to get them. This company basically is helping you get one through a Teladoc. So we're gonna leave a link down below for it if you're interested in it. Now we do have a coupon code for it. The coupon code is 2 Crazy Ketos. That's going to get you $30 off. Now uh, the price on these, because again, they're giving you your doctor's appointment and everything. You have a few different ways. You can just try it for 14 days, which it might be a great way to go because it's just nice to do some experiment. Yeah. Uh, 14 days is $175. Uh, if you want to go just month to month and not make any kind of commitment, it's $350. And then they also have a three month, a six month and a 12 month commitment. And the more you do, obviously the cheaper it is. So right. three month commitment is 250 bucks a, a month, a month. Uh, six month is 199 and a 12 month is 185. So if you're interested in really monitoring yourself, you know, maybe you want to start out with a month or 14 days, see if you like it. It's up to you. Well, here's the thing though. We don't often, very rarely ever go to the doctor. Right. So we're not getting a lot of information. Now, if we do go to the doctor with our insurance, a lot of times it's like you go into like one of those, you know, care.com, like care.com, carespot.com, mm -hmm. uh, or like an urgent care or something. And it's like a hundred to $150 for us to just drop into the doctor and say like, what's going on. So I feel like this is a good monitoring for us to have 14 days of what's going on. Yeah, it's just cool to see some of the different things like Kim Howerton's currently using to see like what happens when she eats certain like keto style breads. So, you know, it's a, there's a lot of good uses for a CGM. I think everybody should personally use it when at least once, so you know, try that it. you can get it through your doctor. Awesome. Um, but it's, it's just nice to see what's going on and you don't have to prick yourself a million times a day. And you're also getting like, overall information. The thing with the pricking yourself is number one, they can be off by 20 to 30%. And also like you prick yourself and you say like, oh my gosh, my glucose is 30 points higher. Was it the pricking though? But it could be anything. It could be you just had a workout 20 minutes earlier. It could be you're in the middle of the dawn phenomenon. And you know, when you, you're generally, your glucose is higher in the morning. So having a CGM, whether it's this one or a different one is going to allow you to see what was going on. And you can go back and be like, oh, I didn't eat anything. So it couldn't be from my food. It like I learned that at 3 a.m. when I get up to go to the bathroom because I'm old, my glucose goes up. Now I didn't eat. So what's causing that? Well, it's the stress of having to get up. And I else. also cause your glucose to go up. Yeah, whenever when I see, see me. You. That's right. So and that's not a bad thing. I'm not moving out right. of the house. You know, we just know we can read it and see like, oh, okay, that's what's happening. It's a spike. But this was a good spike because stress is stress, whether it's a good stress right. or a bad stress. Yeah, but now again, if you if I would prick myself right after saying that, I would see, be freaking out thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm diabetic. Right. But I'm not because you're not, you can't with, unless you're going to prick yourself every five minutes throughout the whole day, you don't have a good idea of what's going on. So you want to put these on? So we don't make this video a long time. The Ooh. first thing you have to do is download the app, which we've already done. Yep. And we're going to open that up and then, okay. So what you have is, I think we've got two in here, right? Nope. We have one. So. You got that. You got a little alcohol wipe. This is like a like a dipping cup. And it's like garlic which, sauce. Which arm do you want to put this on? 
Hmm. You're a lefty. You want to put it on this arm? Yeah, I kind of want to put it on the right. Okay, and we're going to put it like right over here in the back of your arm. I, I, I've i experimented with these a lot and I don't like putting it here because I found like I would walk through and hit it with the door. So I oh, like it like back here I'm super where it's clumsy. not going to hit you in the back of the door because you don't want it to come out. So so like I like to put it like right back here right in okay? my in, in my in, in a fatty area in a fatty area there's okay. there's plenty of skin back there so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna let this dry and while we let that dry i'm gonna go shave a little bit of hair off the back of my arm should you shave some of my hair you don't have any hair i'm back are you hairless i'm hairless see all hairless that's scary okay you want to go first yeah Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take you this thing off. You need to just get it over with. Cause I'm a little bit nervous that it's gonna hurt worse than a prick. Okay, so we're gonna take this here and then we're gonna take this top off like this. And then you're gonna line it up. See the line? So you have a line here and a line here. And it says gonna, freestyle, so it's a freestyle. It's a freestyle Libre. Now we're gonna put it down like that. Okay. And then we're gonna pull it out, right? And now it's in there. See it right there? See, I the, see the needle see guy. See the needle thing right there? Oh. Okay, you ready? Okay. Give me your arm. Ooh. Ready? Yep. Oh, oh, that didn't hurt. <laughs> and it's in there. It's in there. Wow. Now we're just gonna make sure it gets in there. Now, here's what's cool is they're giving you these little things. Okay. And that's gonna help protect it. So they give you a couple of these things. Okay, so. <laughs> I have a huge pimple. Can now, you pop this? <laughs> Okay, so okay, so now what we're gonna do, it says apply your sensor. We did that. Activate your sensor. So in the app menu, we're gonna hit this, and then we're gonna hit the settings. Look at that. And then we're gonna say sensor, and then activate your new sensor. Okay, and then we're gonna put your phone up here. Whoa. Okay. Hold your phone near the item, and it says "Welcome to NutriSense." Well, thank you. And now, in the twenty, yeah, you do get a dietitian for I think it's like a month. Like a, you get one month of free dietitian support. So they're going to monitor you. They and they'll be able to tell you like, hey, let's adjust things. Um, you know, maybe they're going to be. What did you eat here? So you can log everything, and it can go from there. So now, what's going to happen is it's going to for over the next twenty four hours get some readings, and then you're going to be able to monitor your glucose. So it takes, I think, up to 24 hours for everything to happen. So it does say wait 30 minutes before your first scan. Okay. So you'll be able to come back and scan it in 30 minutes. So right now, it's got to activate should itself. Should you put like a Band-Aid over this? Yeah, or? we have this. We're going to put one on. So it says during the first 12 to 24 hours, the sensor is going to show extra uh, variables. So it may be really high, and then it's going to settle down. It's used to me. And you do have to make sure that you scan every 24, every eight hours. Otherwise, you're going to lose some data. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, I'm going to be, can you, can you do more than every eight hours? Oh, yeah. You can, like every five minutes, I think. You know I'm going to be playing with this thing. Okay. You ready? Yeah. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put that on there. Well. I'm never good at doing Band-Aids. I am definitely going to be wearing a sleeved dress for... For Easter now. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Okay. Wow. And that'll help protect you from the water a little bit and that kind of stuff. We kind of waited. We were doing like, we did water baptisms last week. So I was like, well, I don't want to be baptizing people and like being in the water so much. Okay. Yep. Is so it back good on the other side? Yep, you're good. And they do give you an extra one of these. All right. Although they're not easy to get off without pulling it out of you. You want to do it or you want me to do I it? I want you to do it because I'm afraid I'll do it wrong. You don't want to hurt me? I don't want to hurt you ever. Really? No. That makes me feel good. Okay, and I'm just going to press it. At them. least it doesn't really hurt that much. No, you don't honestly. even feel it go in, honestly. It's I more of the pressure than the, anything. The prick that you get on your finger feels worse. Yeah. Is it because I have so much like skin and fat back there that it's no, like... No, I'm probably going to have you do this. Okay. Our kids don't ask you to put their Band-Aids on anymore? They don't. <laughs> they don't. I don't even have to kiss a, a tremendous amount of boo-boos anymore, well, I'll thankfully. Of, I get lots of boo-boos. I know, except for Joe. So I get boo-boos on my head all the time. So I'll yes. let you start kissing my boo-boos. Here, yes. I put a splinter like all the way through this finger today, like this long. And I think I hit a nerve because I can't use my finger. So do you want to kiss my boo-boo? 
Does it feel better? Yes, it does. It feels a lot better now. <laughs> well, that is going to be today's full day of eating vlog on day one of the April No, no joke. joke Challenge. No joke. It was no joke. This was a no joke this day. This was a like, no joke day. It was a no joke day. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other full day of eating videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way, subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.